What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back! For this camera comparison we have the brand new Samsung Galaxy A54 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23. So I'm currently recording with the front facing cameras on both devices and I do have the resolution set to 4K at 30 frames per second on both devices. Now of course with the Samsung Galaxy S23 we could also record them in 4K at 60 frames per second with that front facing camera. Now, I did notice that the A54 does not have um, video stabilization if you're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So as you can probably see for yourself, the image is a bit um, shaky. So I'm going to start uh, running for a bit. Just so you can see how that um, stabilization works or doesn't um, work. Alright, so next I'm going to switch to the rear cameras and I'll show you some um, recordings that I've done on the rear cameras at different resolutions. Alright, and we're moving on to our next recording between the Samsung Galaxy A54 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23. So for this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. 4K at 30 frames per second is the maximum recording resolution for um, the Samsung Galaxy A54. Now with that main camera that we are using um, right now the device does have optical um, image stabilization but we do not get electronic um, stabilization for videos. So as you can probably see for yourself the footage is not as steady as the one that we get from the S23. So I'm gonna start walking a bit faster this way and I'm also gonna run a bit just so you can see how that uh, video would look like on the A54 and we'll stop here once again. So 4K at 30 frames per second between the S23 and the A54. Alright, and we are moving on to our next video recording. For this recording I'm using the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices and once again recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Just as we've seen with that the main camera if you're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second with the Samsung Galaxy A54, you don't get um, electronic video stabilization. So I'm gonna walk straight, I'm trying to hold the phones as steady as possible and we are also gonna run. I'm gonna stop here, we'll pan right slowly, we'll stop here for a bit, keep going. So yeah, this is how recording with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second would look like. Alright, and we're moving on to our next recording between the A54 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23. Now for this recording I'm using the main camera once again and I am recording in 1080p at 30 frames per second. If you do use this resolution, the Samsung Galaxy A54 has electronic video stabilization as well. So I just wanted to show you a quick example so you can see how that would um, look like because it could be better to record in 1080p and get uh, that electronic video stabilization than recording them in 4k 30 and not have that um, electronic video stabilization let's run for a bit and we'll stop here we'll pan right so kind of towards the sun and we'll walk that way so 1080p at 30 frames per second with the main um, cameras on the back of the two devices and another super quick 4K 30 frames per second recording done with the main cameras on the back of the two devices. But for this recording I'm not gonna be moving, so I'm just standing here and panning the phones left um, and right. So let's pan uh, to the right, so we do have a bit of shade around here. So you can see how uh, both devices perform under these conditions. And we'll pan to the right once again. So yeah, main cameras on the A54 and the Samsung Galaxy S23, recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. All right, and we're moving on to a quick video done in low light between the Samsung Galaxy A54 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S23. For this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and um, recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. As I mentioned earlier, um, at this resolution um, the A54 does not have um, video stabilization, but we do have optical um, image stabilization for the lens. 
So we'll walk this way. It is fairly dark around here. But just so you get an idea how um, the footage would look like under these conditions. And we'll stop here. And I guess we can pan towards the light. So yeah, A54 and S23. Alright, so after checking out those sample recordings, I'm gonna start by saying that my t-shirt here is in fact grey. It's not purple as it shows up in the recordings done with the front facing camera on the Samsung Galaxy S23. So yes, the A54 does get the colors better in most situations from what I've seen. Now, it is a shame that the A54 doesn't support video stabilization for 4K at 30 frames per second recordings because the quality of those 4K recordings is actually pretty good and in some situations I feel that it's even better than the S23. But since we don't have video stabilization, well, they're probably better off not to record in 4K with the A54. Now, the 1080p footage does look good, but once again, for a phone that's about $500, I was kind of expecting video stabilization for those 4K recordings. So, the A54 does okay, but it could have been much better. Alright, next we're gonna move on and start checking out some pictures that I took with the main cameras on both devices during the day. So of course all the pictures that you are seeing on your screen right now are taken on auto mode on both devices and about a second apart from each other. Now looking at those pictures, seeing many of those pictures taken by the A54, I actually prefer the colors that I'm seeing. The colors are a bit closer to what I was seeing with my own eyes. Now if I wouldn't see the pictures together, so the pictures from the S23 and the A54 together, maybe I would say that the S23 does pretty good. But looking at the pictures together, I do prefer many of those colors that we get um, from the A54. Now, the dynamic range in most of those pictures, well, in some of those pictures, is better from the pictures that I took with the S23. But overall, I can't really say that the A54 takes bad pictures by any means. So if you're looking for a phone that takes decent pictures, I feel that the A54 does pretty good for pictures with that main um, camera on the back. And we are moving on to portrait mode pictures. Now, funny enough, um, most portrait mode pictures that I took with the Samsung Galaxy A54 look better than the pictures that I took with the more expensive S23. So I had all the skin smoothing effects turned off on both devices, but if you look at those pictures, you're gonna notice that the S23 still does some skin smoothing. If you look at my face, you're gonna notice there is nothing on my face. I look nice and young, but in reality, the A54 does better and actually captures the way that I look better. So for portrait mode pictures, I would definitely choose the A54 over the Samsung Galaxy S23. But what do you guys think? Do you like the ones from the S23 or the A54 for portrait mode pictures? Moving on to ultra wide pictures, well here I can't really say that one does better than the other because in a couple of pictures I do like the way the pictures look from the S23, they have a bit more contrast, maybe dynamic range is slightly better, but for the other pictures I do prefer the A54. So for that ultra wide cameras on their backs, I can't really say that one is so much better than the other one and they both do equally good. Next we are moving on and checking out some pictures that I took in low light, so basically at night. All the pictures that um, you're seeing on your screen right now were taken using the night modes available on both devices. So the night mode is available for the main camera, for the ultra wide camera and for the selfie camera. And we are starting with pictures that I took with the main cameras and the night mode. Now here I've noticed that if you take pictures in a super dark place, so uh, places where there is pretty much no light around you, the S23 will do better, the A54 doesn't do that great in those situations, but as soon as you have some lights, some street lights, there, are, there is a bit more light basically, it almost looks like the A54 takes the sharper pictures. Not to mention that if you look at those colors, the S23 does make the pictures look a bit on the yellow side. And I'm not a fan of that yellow side because nothing actually looks yellow in reality. So the colors from the A54 are better, in my opinion at least. So if you do have some street lights and you have a bit of light whenever you're taking pictures at night, I feel that the A54 actually does better than the Samsung Galaxy S23. And I know this sounds kind of funny and crazy, but look at those pictures. They are sharper than the ones that I took with the S23. 
but definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. As for the ultra wide cameras and the night mode, once again the colors do look better from the A54, but here the S23 does have the sharper pictures in pretty much all situations. So the ultra wide camera on the back of the S23 does seem to do better in low light than the ultra wide camera that we have on the A54. And I've also noticed that whenever you're taking pictures using the night mode, the, the S23 is faster at taking those pictures. So the A54 you do have to stay still for like 3-4 seconds where it only takes a second or two on um, the S23. And lastly, we are going to check out some selfies and of course we are starting with some selfies that I took during the day. Now the selfies that I took with the A54 during the day don't actually look bad. They actually look better than a lot of um, phones that I've tried in the past. But looking at the two together, yes, the S23 does seem to do better for um, those um, daytime selfies. It kind of retails the details um, a bit better um, in my opinion. As for the nighttime selfies, well, there is really no competition there. Um, the S23 does better than uh, the A54. So there you have it, the A54 versus the S23. Now, if the A54 would have had video stabilization for 4K recordings, I would have almost said that the A54 does better altogether than um, the S23. But because of that video stabilization that's not available at 4K, I wouldn't recommend this phone, even though it does do pretty good for pictures and overall video quality. But that stabilization ruins this phone for me. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.